welcome to bites to bliss uh, today i am uh, starting uh, to show uh, how to paint on fresh cream cake uh, for that first you will need a chill cake chilling time will be 3 to 4 hours and uh, the ingredients uh, rest of the ingredients that you will need is uh, you will need one palette where you will put your colors you will need a uh, zero size brush uh, mostly thin brushes uh, you will need your gel colors a uh, lot of gel colors available in market whichever you want you can use it and to dilute the gel color you will need uh, any one of the medium i have two i'm just showing it you will you can use uh, clear vodka basically it is used uh, to let the uh, spirit evaporate and the color stays uh, back on the cake uh, we will not use water because water will actually blur the color on the cream uh we can also use non alcoholic uh, medium that is available in market to dilute the uh color and use it on the cream so uh we will start uh, you should have your picture in your in handies whichever you want to draw on the cake uh we will start uh, with the painting of a uh, sun i want to put a draw sun uh, over here so i have two colors that's yellow lemon yellow and electric orange um, the picture i have is uh, from internet i just need the idea of a sun so i will draw it over here so we'll start first with diluting the color um, for that i am using an alcoholic uh, base um, i'll just uh, put some in the palette so that will help me the colors yellow and aha orange these are gel colors not uh, liquid color okay uh i will first need to do the border of the sun so uh, we will do the border and then we will fill it up so for border i will need both orange and yellow mostly orange so i have my uh, clear vodka over here or uh, any kind of spirit that's edible and i will use it with the color to dilute it take little and add it to your color you don't need much of it and a little of yellow make sure you have a tissue in hand to wipe your brush if by chance cream gets stuck stuck to your paint brush so we will go by the painting so it's just a light hand drawing you don't need to be very particular about the no uh, initial look wipe every time you see uh, cream coming to your brush so that doesn't smudge the color hurry you can do it at your own pace there is nothing to hurry about this because if you hurry you will go wrong so let's do it calmly and quietly i need a half sun Okay, we are finished with the bordering. You can see I have used uh, gel colors and it has not smudged. Uh, so now it's the time we need to color the inside part of the sun. Same way, we take gel colors and a little of the clear liquid. My uh, advice. do the coloring with your light hand don't try to dig in deep the brush in the cream you will spoil the entire uh, look whenever you see a uh, cream coming in your brush wipe clean the brush in your tissue
this is how we will fill the sun We've almost uh, finished with the filling up of the sun. There could be places where the brush might go a little deep. Uh, just don't bother. Keep on coloring. As long as the color stays, your painting will look beautiful. So we're almost done. We can again come back later on in case you see there is some smudging or the borders are not perfect. You can always redo once more after the color dries up. We are done with the filling and uh, I will just redo my border once more. So I will take orange because I find the borders have mixed up with the uh, filling. So I will just keep the borders. Your brush should have colors otherwise the brush will go deep inside the paint. The brush should have colors. The sun is the uh, sun. You can see I have done a little shading. Uh, you can do, you can you know avoid. That's all up to you. It's up, it's up to the painting you're choosing your own creativity. Now I will uh, do some clouds. I was thinking of doing some clouds. One cloud probably here and a cloud over here. So I have washed my palette. I have a new set of colors. That's blue and white, and my clear liquid, my clean brushes, and I have my tissue. So let's get started with the cloud. Uh, first let me work on this side and then I'll go on this side. So same way, you take your liquid, little bit probably, you don't need much. Avoid using water, I've told before also, because water will smudge the cream. You take your color, one drop will be enough. You have your white in case you want to lighten the blue and you have your clean brush again we'll start with the border of the cloud this is just a reference picture rest is all up to your imagination uh, we take a little of color blue a little of your liquid just let's see how it goes into the cake we have to do some round so with your hands very light on the cake I've taken a very easy drawing so it will be easy for the beginners to understand you can go to more complicated pattern you can go to paintings whatever you want but the basic idea will be same any type of painting you can use but the basic idea will be same We'll do the borders like we did for the sun and then clouds we can do a little bit of shading and finish it off because clouds are white in color so this blue is just to shade it off we I'll uh, finish off with the border and come back down to my thin one Probably broader brushes will smudge the clean. So we'll do with the clean one. Uh, so I've almost done with the clouds. One cloud is done. It's easy because it's mostly white. Just we need to do a little bit of uh, shading with a different color. You can keep on smudging the colors 
but uh, take care that you don't smudge the paint. So just smudge a little bit, a little bit of shade. Exactly particular. Yes. Almost done with this. Here, the two clouds are done this side. Same similar cloud, one more I will do over here. And uh, same way, I will do probably some flowers all around. And I plan to do two figures that will be completely in black figure of a boy and a girl. And thus, I'll finish my cake. So this is actually how you will paint on your cakes. Um, I will try to show the figurines or the flowers once I finish with the cloud. So I have finished with the uh, clouds on both sides. I have my sun, I have my rainbow. Now I will do two figurines, a girl and a boy. And for that, I will use black shell color, again my palette, my thin brush and the alcoholic medium. So, same way, we will start just to dilute your black. This will be our shadow painting. So, mm, there is no other color than black being used. So, keep your black in your palette. And with your brush, you take a bit of the liquid and dilute it directly on the black as you will need the black more. So that's how you dilute it. And we will do the figuring on the top part over here. I have a reference pick. I'll try to um, bring the look of it. There is a, a boy this side and a girl this side your cake in the middle and just seeing the reference pick I'll try to do the border we will start with the legs because we don't know how much we will go up so let's start with the legs so that we have a proportionate figure I'll do from here so that's the leg of the boy start with there is some pant the pant is wearing so since it's the shadow drying you can directly fill up while you're doing your borders so you will come to know how much big your figurines are i will uh, do a part of it and we'll come back now uh, i've done with the figurine of the boy the boy is looking um, and is putting his hands up he's holding his sister by his side so now i will go with the hand holding the girl so same way With your constrained space on the top of the cake, you have to do the figurine or whatever you are planned to do. Both of them are holding hands. So I'll start the girl from here. So the girl hands starts. Now since it's black, 
uh, it could happen that after the uh, spirit is evaporate have evaporated there could be uh, a lighten of the black color so you can again redo the color now i will draw the skirt as per the reference pic i have of the girl so i have the skirt here basically drawing on a sheet of paper and with the legs here one more leg here So I've almost complete both the figurines. There is just a hand that goes this side. So we'll draw the hand and finish up with the initial painting of the on the cake. Now this is a basic um, part. The more complicated look you go. A little careful you've got to be with your painting so there it's done you will see a little uh, whites here and there uh, you can fill this up later once the liquid has evaporated so here is how you will do painting on fresh cream cake Thank you for watching Bites Bliss.